purity, piety, our Burbank City Council leaders, people we admire, aspire to be wholesome, honorable, true believers. Men like Constantine Anthony, his pedestal so high. Constantine Anthony, a man of the people or a man for himself? Anthony is pushing a needless rent control ballot measure that our Burbank city leaders estimate will cost Burbank taxpayers as much as $6 million a year, while creating an unaccountable bureaucracy and siphoning money away from essential services such as fire and police departments. And why? On January 1st, California already passed statewide rent control to protect every single tenant from rent increases. And what's more frightening is that Anthony has vowed to defund the Burbank Police Department at a time when looting and civil unrest threaten the safety of U.S. citizens across the country. Nearly every campaign commitment Anthony promises to fulfill involves raising the sales tax, the tax on property, hotel lodging taxes, and employer costs at a time when citizens need to protect the money in their pockets. Burbank already has the second highest sales tax rate in the entire state of California, and Burbank's lodging tax is not far behind, with only eight cities in California being higher. Could there be a worse plan? Is that fiscally responsible, Constantine? And sadly, we're just getting started. He's also campaigning to force taxpayers to foot the bill for a very expensive homeless shelter at a time when the unsheltered homeless population has gone way down. And there are ample housing programs available right now through private foundations. And the most ill-conceived promise that Anthony has dreamed up is to force all Burbank employers with 25 or more workers to pay substantially higher wages than mom and pop shops. While that sounds like a dream come true for workers, it's guaranteed to result in workers quitting their jobs with family businesses to work for larger companies. I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. Family stores that will risk losing their staff at a time when small businesses are struggling to keep the lights on. This should come as no surprise because Constantine Anthony's socialist agenda is funded and endorsed by special interest groups and faraway unions. I suppose we should not be surprised, Constantine, that you proudly refuse to accept campaign contributions from the very businesses that are the pillars of our community and the economic engine that keeps workers employed in Burbank. Anthony reminds us that he is an autistic, disabled, formerly homeless actor and socialist candidate for the people who wants to raise taxes on us all. Is Constantine Anthony a SWWGTME, a socialist who wants government to manage everything? Has he fooled you? A man for the people? Or just another same old tale of tax and spend? From a man who filed bankruptcy and shirked his student loans? Might there be a better choice? Someone who doesn't dream that money grows on trees? Perhaps a proven fiscal conservative who has accomplished enormous things in life and isn't bogged down in a contentious divorce? And who better to speak up about Constantine Anthony than Anthony himself? I'm crazy and I'm not a criminal.